everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome 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 my name is nicole and on this channel i like to do product reviews product hauls and recommendations and we're going to be reviewing the mark jacobs honey and dot perfumes that i picked up a couple of weeks ago i had a chance to um, wear them fully i did one well i did them both for a full week um we're going to start with the honey, shall we? No, let's do the honey last because I did the honey the second week. So let's start with Dot. And can I say... Okay. Can I just say that when I did some research online, how come my bottle got to look like this and the other bottles looked like this? Why? Oh, and for the record, that this these fragrances have been discontinued. That's why they are popping up in all the TJ Maxx's and Marshall's. But if you still want them, they are in the store and they are even cheaper now. I've seen them in one of my TJ Maxx's for $26. And they're also on like um, Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy. Nope, not Fragrance Buy, Fragrance X. Um, I've seen them on those sites as well. So if you're interested, you can get them from those sites or try your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But <clears throat> let's start with the, the um, Dot. Dot has notes of red berry. I keep looking down at my notes. Uh, red berries, dragon fruit, honeysuckle, coconut, jasmine, orange blossom, driftwood, musk, and vanilla. First of all, this scent is very, very nice. I love it. I do. I like it a lot. The opening is very bright with that um, orange blossom. You get that orange blossom off the rip. And then it, um, when it dries down, that's when the berries kick in. So you get a lot of the wild berry and the honeysuckle. Not very much coconut. It smells more like coconut water than, you know, actual... A creamy coconut but this is a very nice scent now it's very light when I say light I mean um, almost skin scent I wore it for a couple of days by itself and then I started adding in some blends um, if you have not yet checked out my short I have a short where I show different blends that I use for that particular week and um, I have to say that when you blend it, it projects longer. Your sillage is more um, apparent because without it, you're not really gonna get much. That's just, well, on me anyway, I wasn't able to get much. It turned very um, skin scent quickly. When I wore it by itself, it probably lasted a good, three hours, maybe four max, but I know that um, it did not last long whatsoever. And they are nice fragrances, I don't, but now I understand, I can probably see why they're discontinuing it because it's a um, Eau de Parfum, however, it performs like an EDT. Not knocking an EDT, but we all know the EDTs doesn't last that long. So, yeah. Um, but would I repurchase it? Absolutely. Would I get a backup of it? For sure. If I see it again in a store, I'm definitely going to grab one. Um, moving on to the honey. The honey has notes of punch, pear, mandarin, orange, honeysuckle, peach, orange blossom, um, vanilla, honey, and woodsy notes. These are such beautiful fragrances. It's such a shame that they're discontinued now. And I am on the hunt for the pink honey. So if anyone knows of where the pink honey is located, let a sister know. Because I'm, I'm eager to try it. Um, and again with the bottle. Why? What Mark, why? Tell me why, Mark. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. But, I mean, all in all, the bottle is cute. But have you guys seen the other bottles? I'm going to put it here again. 
Just because you were discontinued. Okay, okay. I, I keep going on these little tangents. Don't pay me no mind. So I wore this by itself for the first couple of days as well. And again, it went directly to skin scent very quickly. Um, for those who does not like like loud scents, these are your buddies. You need to get these. Um, they're very light. They're perfect for this time of year though. I must say that because if you were to wear these in the winter, your scent would be lost. You would be, you would definitely enjoy your own little scent bubble for a few hours. But after that few hours is gone, you would definitely need to refresh, um, which I have these decanters and I'll show you here, the decanters that I have, I use them to, um, you know, when you need to refresh really quickly, you don't want to carry a big bottle in your pocketbook. But would I um, purchase, repurchase? Absolutely. And I also have a short on how I wore this as well with my different blends. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, and my favorite out of the two, I gotta say, now at first, I was loving Dot. You couldn't, <laughs> Dot was it for me. That whole week I was like, ooh, I know I'ma like this one better. It has um, the berries, cause I'm a berry girl. Now I eat honey, but I don't generally care for the scent of honey. But baby, after I started blending my other fragrances with honey, girl, let me tell you, honey is now my new favorite. Honey wore so well. Honey got along with all the fragrances. Honey shocked the heck out of me. Honey is it, sis. Baby, me and honey, I, I, I want like two backups of honey. Did I say two? Okay, maybe not two. Okay, I'm pushing it because I have other stuff to go through. But I do want a backup. Because look, sis, look at this dent after like a week. I wore this a week straight. Do you guys see that dent? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Girl, I need another one. And, um, well, dot two. Listen, I was not playing around with these fragrances, but I'm an oversprayer and you really have to overspray with these because otherwise you might as well have on some fragrance mist. Sorry, sorry, did I say that? Mark, Mark, do better, Mark, do better. But yeah, um, otherwise these, these scents are gorgeous. I really like them a lot. I would definitely repurchase. And um, that's it. Have you guys tried Dot or Honey? And if so, let me know down below in the comments uh, what you thought and give me a blend. Let me know how you blended your fragrances um, with the Marc Jacobs and Dot and Honey or how would you knowing the fragrance notes now? I'm interested in knowing. I'm always up for a good blend. Well, guys, I just wanted to pop in here and give you guys my thoughts on these fragrances as always to the next time be sure to stay tuned i have a haul coming it's a random haul i have a couple of hauls coming actually so i'm gonna try to bang those videos out by the end of the week i have so much going on but i'm gonna try to be um a little more consistent getting stuff out for you guys um and check my shorts and i'm, I'm always doing a short so if I don't get a full video out, I definitely get a short out. And I'm on Instagram. Check your girl out on Instagram. Please come over and follow me on Instagram because I do post my scents of the day. Um, it's uh, at Operations Reviewed. So I look forward to seeing you over at Instagram as well. Till the next time, friends. Bye. I must say, though, the most shocking blend was with um, Dot and Waikiki Beach Coconut. Now that was an accident. I just happened to, you know, be putting some hand lotion on and it happened to be Waikiki Beach Coconut. And I had the dot on, you know, my wrist or whatever. And I just, you know, when you put on the excess of lotion, you start rubbing your wrist. And I got a whiff of that. I said, baby, this is my blend tomorrow.
this is my blend. I can't remember what else I, I added with that. Like I said, I was just doing random ones um, for the week, just trying to see how it performed, how it projected, how long it would last. And But that was my all-time favorite blend with Dot. And with um, Honey, my ultimate favorite was the Hints Sugarcane Papaya and, oh, and Soli Notes Oranger. Girl, that is spring in a bottle or spring in a combo. I'm telling you, that is amazing. Try it. A lot of people are scared of Soli Notes Oranger, but to be honest, Oranger is just a fragrance to tone down some of the sweetness in your other fragrances. Don't be scared, y'all. Play with them. Play with them. But um, yeah, so that was about it. Those were my combos of the week. Understanding you respected every boundary. You so exciting, was in